Hi everyone, today in this quick tutorial we're going to learn how to create a 360 viewer inside Unity. So the first thing we need to do is to go inside Hierarchy. I'm going to right click and go under Video and click on Video Player. This will create a video player component. So I can check right away the loop box here which will loop the video make sure that the render mode is set to render texture okay so second step is to go under create and create a render texture so which i will create uh, I, I will name it render texture 360 video okay so the the size should match the dimension of our video so for my case it's 4096 to 2048 Okay, perfect. So I will also create a materials right there, 360 materials, and I will change its sh shader from standard to skybox panoramics. Okay, so I will just drag uh, here the render textures, leave the settings are there, and we will also uh, set, uh, drag the texture texture inside of video uh, right there on under target texture okay so perfect so next step is to go under lighting and we are going to change the default skybox which is the sky which we can see it here and we're going to change that by the material that we've just created okay so i will drag it there so everything is black it's perfectly normal and now the final step is to go under our video player and i will drag a, a 360 video so for my case this is a simple video of a guy standing and doing some fighting okay so i will drag it there and now if i press play you can see that the video is currently plugging it's currently playing but we cannot uh we cannot look around because the camera is not rotating uh this is what i'm going to do uh, right now okay so this will be a simple script i'm going here on main camera and i'm going to click add component uh, and I will create a look around script. Okay, so now I just have to click uh, on the script. The script is really simple. I just have to check that if I'm pressing my mouse button, uh, I will rotate along the X axis of the mouse and the uh, Y axis of the mouse. So rotate around, transform dot position minus vector 3 dot up and the angle will be input dot get axis mouse x so i will take this line and i will duplicate it okay and change the mouse x input by mouse uh, y input i will also change the axis by transform dot right so it will rotate along the uh, right axis of the camera okay and final step is to add um, a custom speed which I will set to 3 and I will use the speed to multiply the angle of our rotation okay perfect so now if I go here and I press play you can see that I'm able to look around my scene using the little script that we just created just by clicking and dragging the camera okay so now the next step is to create a video manager so video manager this script will contain some uh, simple methods from uh, that we'll be using using a user interface okay so i will create a reference a reference to uh, our video private video player i will access this video player at the start of the game and i want some method as i said earlier i will need a play method i will also need a pause method a stop method which will just uh, take us back to the starting point of the video and finally i need a method which will load from our uh, from a url address or a local file the video for us so um, url to video and 
I will take as a variable the URL. Okay, so for that I will set the video player dot source to um, video source dot URL. I will change its URL to the URL that we are giving. I will also prepare the video so that it will load it and try to uh, do the calculation. And finally, I will add an event. So when the prepare is completed, I want to I want to uh, play the video. So here I just press tab and by pressing tab it's creating directly a function which will be called when the preparation is completed. So I just call it play when the video is is um, started and now I can just go back to my scene and I will create some user interface which I will use later on to uh, for my video. Okay, so here I'm creating a canvas, clicking on 2D to see a bit better. I'm going to create three buttons. So I'm adjusting here the size of the first one. I don't need the text. Okay, so I will put it right there. I'll duplicate it once and twice. Okay. Perfect, this seems fine. And I will add some icons that I've just imported before and here. So is, here is the play icon. This is the pause icon. And this is the stop icon. And for the buttons, I want to add event when I click on the button. So I will drag the little script that we've just created. Video manager play. So video manager stop, pause, sorry, and finally, video manager, stop. Okay, perfect. And fi final step is to go under UI and create an input, f input file. Okay, so I will just add some links to it and drag it here. And once the on end edit, I will add the famous uh, uh, script uh, URL to video that we've just created. So now you can see that I'm able to look around my video, but also to start, stop it, to replay it, and to start it from the start, to stop it and uh, restart it by clicking here and pressing play again. Okay, also, if I go, just go here and I uh, add some uh, uh, some files, 360 video 2.mp4 and if I press enter I'm here with the new video okay so the final step is to make our application in VR so for that it's really simple I just have to go under edit project settings player and check the virtual reality supported box here. Make sure that the virtual reality SDK are set to Oculus and OpenVR. This will make it possible for the Oculus Rift, but also for the HTC Vive to be used for this application. And now if I press play while my headset is plugged, it will automatically recognize it and play it in my application. So. To resume, if it's if we don't have a netset plug, we can use our mouse to scroll. Otherwise, we can use our VR headset. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you have any more que question or information, add a comment. Thank you a lot.